I don't care. He hits one now. If we keep down, 13th in the championship. The takeover happened, as I said it would. People will be. Oh, when, when have we got leads? Now then people, welcome back to the Just Your Football show and of course it's Easter Monday, we're back to back to back to back to back again, again, we do get a little break in between because there's no 3pm kickoff that I fancy watching, you know what I mean, so I'll have a little rest in between but we're here of course to do Leicester versus Norwich, Ipswich versus Southampton a little bit later on, I can't wait for that by the way, uh, and then Leeds versus Hull, um, it's going to swing left and right. To be honest, if I'm being honest, I think Leicester will win this game. I, I do think Leicester at home will win this game, but it won't be easy. It won't be easy. So I'm not expecting a Norwich. I did think Bristol City might get some. You who watch religiously will know that. But yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how Ipswich versus Southampton will go. I think we draw, draw, but Southampton got to win. If Southampton don't win, their hopes of top two are diminishing and diminishing quick. And then, of course, we've got to beat Hull, which won't be easy, but I do think we will win. I do think we will win. Uh, big up to everyone in the chat. Yeah, listen, <laughs> I knew these I, I knew these questions was come, right? I've texted Connor. I got over-emotional, yeah? I got over-emotional. Uh, I didn't like... You know I love Calvin, I love Cooper, all this stuff. I shouldn't have done it. I've I, I've messaged him, I've said I'm sorry. There's no need for it, was there? Um, but listen, emotions run high. You know me, I, I wear my heart on my sleeve. It was just saying that I didn't agree with the opinion. And then I think like a lot of people maybe took it further than it needed to go. But at that point, I, I'm not responding, you know what I mean? I'm just leaving it. Um, I, I like Connor, it is what it is. Our, our opinions don't align. Yeah, our opinions don't align on a lot of things, but that's fine. That's football. I got over emotional. Um, yeah, I spoke to Gabe. Listen, the, 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 if you don't like it, fuck off thing was because it had Cooper on. Nothing to do with like, don't talk to me and all that sort of stuff. Nothing to do with that. Um, but I shouldn't have done it. I, I should have, I should have messaged Connor privately and said, I think you're out of order. I'm an adult. I didn't need to do it on social media. It was a bit pathetic, really. Um, but please, no, I wasn't cr trying to create beef and a narrative and all this sort of stuff. No. Um, I, me and Connor haven't always agreed on footballing opinions. He'll tell you that from all these TV days, man. We used to have arguments in the group chat and that. It is what it is. These things happen. Um, and I was just annoyed and feeling over-emotional, that's all. So if he's watching this, I'm sorry, Connor. I have texted him. Um, but he, he's well within his rights to not respond. That's fine, you know. I think he will, though, because he'll also be like, yeah, you were a dick. Stop being a dick. Um, but yeah, yeah. It's all love. Like, I genuinely couldn't believe people was like, he's trying to create beef. What was quite funny is, like, fucking the video from Ollie went out. <laughs> and then people were like, yo, this is why they did it. But it was all I said was, like, I didn't agree with the opinion. What did I? I can't remember what I actually said now. It's, uh, I muted, I muted it. Because obviously everyone loves, like, what did I actually say? Chatting beans. I say that all the time. Chatting beans. You're chatting beans. You're chatting shit. That's all. Um, but I do think it was, it was, uh, and listen, I don't want a YouTube bar against Connor. He's a big lad. He's a big lad. I'm only five foot eight. It's spark me. You know what I mean? Don't want to fight him, do I? But yeah, um, big up to you all. Um, I hope you're all doing well anyway. Uh, smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, get your comments in, and of course hit that notification bell. I want to know your thoughts going into this game. As you can see, the lineups here. I genuinely can't see past the Leicester win. If they do lose this, then it is like big problems. Big problems if they do lose this game. Um, but I think they will. But listen, Norwich are flying though. Let's not forget, they're in the race for the playoff as well. Like, it's big. Um, they've got some fantastic players. Um, Josh, Josh Sargent, he's, he's class up top. Um, Sarah, Sainz, Kenny McLean, who who bossed the midfield against us. Bossed it. Um, Defence, I'm not too sure. Jack Stacey, decent. Go, you know, Angus Gunn, good in goal. Um, 
they've got some good players, but I think I think um, Leicester City. I mean, he's made a couple of changes. Doyle's coming at left back instead of um, instead of uh, James uh, James Justin, and and Daka's coming up top instead of Vardy. It almost feels horses for courses. I don't know if it's really well. It's not a tactical tweet. It, it's more like, well, I'll just change some personnel around because. Um, I'll change some personnel around because, uh, you know, Vardy missed some sitters. But Daka missed some sitters against us as well. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, Wagner will do Farker a favour. I hope so. Germans coming together. Alhamdulillah. Uh, next FIFA video. I'm not too sure, hey, Chelsea graphics. Leeds Lad TV says Leicester lose or draw today would be a great result. Uh, yes, it would. It would be a fantastic result. I do want to know from you, though. I know we're a little way off from it yet, and we don't start that stream till 5 o'clock, but how do you want the Ipswich-Southampton game to go? Because if Ipswich win, Southampton are done. Draw, I also think Southampton are done. Do you want Southampton to win to pull Ipswich closer? I'm not too sure. Um, I did see something earlier on as well about our... Um, uh, uh, about our... Um, Easter Monday as well, like... Um, I don't think we've won in the last... I think Joe Donahue tweeted it out. It did not look good. It did not look good anyway. Everyone's saying Southampton win all day, yeah? Okay, okay. Um, where did the news that none told me be out from three weeks? That's confirmed, bro. That was from Farker, I think. Uh, that's that's confirmed. Um, some questions, though. Let's have a conversation, right? Let's have a conversation about um, what we do up front. Now, for me, it's start Bamford. I understand a lot of people wanting Joseph. I get it. They say he's ready now. I get it. But you have to take into context that when he came on the pitch, who was on the pitch? Bamford was still on the pitch. The only place anyone wants Mateo Joseph to start is clearly up top, right? Or unless you play two up top. But that, that's not going to happen. But I, I just don't see and I don't agree with dropping Bamford. I don't. And the last time these calls and, and uh, shouts came out, he went on and scored. So, so I'd, I'd imagine he'll do the same today. I'm hoping he does anyway. The other one, obviously, putting Ampadu back in at centre-back, which we all want. Who's playing the six? Because Gray isn't a six. Kamara, no. Uh, Gray's more box-to-box -box for me. Um, Kamara, an eight. Uh, like, I, I just... I just... It'll be... It'll be difficult without having that player, especially against Hull. So so the linchpin, the big player that we need for this evening, that we must have, is Gruev. We need Gruev to play in midfield, which means we can then put um, Ampadu back in at centre-back. If not, mm, you know what I mean? But we won't play Cooper. And um, listen... Do you know what, as well, like, what I want to just clear up, when you stick up for Cooper, like, people take what they want from a tweet, right, when you disagree with something, I'm not saying here Cooper should play, I'm not saying here that Cooper was great, because he wasn't, I said he was poor, it's everything else that comes with that, it's, it's like with the Calvin stuff as well, Calvin's a good player, like, I, I, I don't understand how people don't think he's, he's great anymore. Um, I guess there is the the logic behind it. Pre BLs and post BLs are shit and shit. Fair enough, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I think there is a realistic possibility if the finances allow it that it would come. I did a video with Holly Ward. Thought it was a great video. Uh, really enjoyed watching it. On that, like he said, within the next year. I don't think within the next year, but but he could. He could. Um, yeah, Piro could start. That's I don't know if Gruev's fit, but that's a good point Jamie makes as well about um, about Piro. I don't think he was great when he came on, but will he go with him in the ten? Because um, I do, I I I do think um, I I I do think um, that Rutter wasn't on it. Rutter wasn't on it. Yeah, Matt Motive. Listen. I was quite surprised, bro, I, um, by... I, th I seen your tweets. I didn't want to engage. It's pointless when you're feeling emotional, isn't it? But I do do that, bro. I do do that. Like, um, uh, uh, yeah, I was like, what? 
Matt, what's up, man? I was going to message you, but it is what it is. You, 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 you were annoyed, and at the time, it's probably best not to. But I hope you're all well, brother. Um, and like you say, if you want to come on, you can come on. I've always said this to you. Um, but yeah, like I do, I do do that. I I disagreed with an opinion, and and probably shouldn't have done it on social media. But when you actually strip it back, all I said was there was a shit opinion. That's all. And I've I've apologised to to Connor. I've messaged him, and if I've upset anyone, I apologise to you. Okay, from me to you, I apologise. But I wasn't trying to create not not nothing like like just a difference of opinion is all. I seen some wild shit like. So I say Joe blames this on he'll blame this on his mental health. I'm like, what are you on about? I've never once ever said I was down or something that made me say something. Never once said that. Um. What was there, there was some other wild takes that I just had to chuckle at, but yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, we move. Good man, good man. Yeah, let's move on, Andy. You're right, I will. I have, I have. I just I, I just wanted to, to speak to Matt. Um, we'll have to get you over one of, over another time. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, what, Don? <laughs> Are you assuming you're speaking to someone else? Um, you wouldn't be Joe if you didn't. Yeah, th this is the thing, Leeds, man. I wear my heart on my sleeve, and I was... <clears throat> I just watched City versus Arsenal, which was shite. Um, I was having food with my partner and friends, and they were all ta <laughs> talking. I don't know them, so I'm like, out on my phone, <laughs> I seen it, and I went, no! <laughs> that was brutal, man. Um, Norfolk says, how was the hike? It was beautiful. Did you see the little reel I had made? I really enjoyed it. It was beautiful. Like, if you ever get the chance to do um, Blee Tarn, like, genuinely, it's amazing. You go into this cove, um, you go into this cove, right, and it and it's like a cave, and you walk through, and it just opens up. It was absolutely unreal, this cove. But then what happened is, I'm not telling you what my girlfriend's name is, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, anyway, when, when you... When you went in, and, and then there was another one where it was like, you know, all lime scale, and you go in, and it was pitch black. Pitch black. You couldn't see anything. And she didn't want to come in. She didn't want to come in, but she was a bit scared, which, which, which was fine. So I went in. I got drenched, by the way. I got absolutely drenched because I stepped in a pool that I didn't realize was a pool. Um, I'll have to show you this picture. Anyway, um, so, um, yeah. So, anyway, we've come back out, right? And there was cave singers. There was cave singers. So it was like some off a movie, right? Because you're in this like massive cove, and all you could hear was like you know that like haunting music that, oh, not like that. Obviously, good. But they were singing while we were in the cave, man. I thought I was gonna get sacrificed. Genuinely, I thought um, uh, I thought I was gonna get sacrificed. All you could hear was oh. I took a video, but it's on my phone, and my phone's my camera, but I will, I'll, I'll upload it to my Mac to show you, but I was like, what the hell, yeah, all of it was haunting, but it was sick at the same time, do you know what I mean, um, yeah, it was great, did I give Freddie Flynn off his hat back, what hat, I don't have a hat for Freddie, <laughs> gothic, yeah, very gothic, yeah, I, do you know, <laughs> Ollie was Ollie was being very very smart with um with his um title Bielsa is overrated. No one said that, did they? You see what he did there? I was like, because even I watched it thinking, what the hell? Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was. Uh, Andrew says, I'm so nervous and excited all about today's games. Big, big day, but these are the day. Yeah, with... Look, at the end of the day, um, the... The... Um, yeah, the, today has a massive opportunity, like, to swing. We've just got to... We've got to get back to winning ways. We We have to get back to winning ways. 
Um, we must, we have. Um, yes, Dawn, exactly. I wore the green coat, Dawn. I wore the green coat. <laughs> I wore the green coat. What hat are you on about, bro? I don't even know what hat you're on about, Andy. I didn't have a hat. Oh, I did wear a hat at the night, yeah. I did wear a hat at the night. Only problem is we got to the top of the mountain. Um, what was it called? Langfield Fell or whatever it was called. And we were the only ones up there because get this, right? No, Paco Mac, I think Leicester will win this game, mate, bro, to be honest. Oh, you're on about the pole. But anyway, we stopped off. And... Somehow, right, somehow, we'd walked five mile of a seven mile hike, but we're only halfway around. I don't understand it. So I think we just took loads, loads of detours. But uh, yeah, we got to the top and um, it was, um, it was basically... About five to six, and the sun was setting at six forty-five, and we had quite a few miles to get down. And 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 the 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 only problem was we were the only ones on the mountain, and she started to panic because she was going, "It's going to go dark. It's going to go dark." I was like, "It's all right. I'll get you through." <laughs> um, yeah, the Crocs were comfy after the hike, mate. I can't lie. Um. Yeah, to be fair, I've got these bad boys on the diff. The North Fizzle. If you haven't seen these, these are the, the comfiest um, slippers. Outrageous Charlie said, world's biggest bottle job. What, Leicester, do you reckon? Um, you walk a bit like Leeds, eventually got to the top after a few details. Yeah, Bear Joe Grills, yeah. I'm old gear, no idea. Um, Paco Max says, I spent all morning in Hull having radiotherapy. I, w I hope it went okay for your brother. Uh, they all think Hull will win. Um, no, I don't know. I know what Hull City fans do, but nah. I think, look, look let's be real here. Hull City, um, what's the word I was going to say? Like, Hull City will be taking confidence from the fact, yeah, some young kid says you don't know about footy. Yep, he's a reet. Punch him. <laughs> Big up John Greaves. No, um, what I will say is um, Hull will be taking a lot of confidence with that Watford result. Yeah, with that Watford, which I get, which I get. But let's remember when Farker changed it back, when he changed it back to Ampadu and Rodon, they did not get a touch in our box. They did not get a shot on goal. Psh. So... Take, we need to take confidence from the fact that he will revert that back and then hopefully we will see more of the same. Hopefully we will see more of the same. But Hull are a good side. Um, Hull lost 2-0 to start. Yeah, l listen, Hull haven't won in five. They haven't won in five. Um, yeah, we do. This is point as well. Yeah, that's that's a good point as well. Um, I don't know if Gruev's fit. He's the key point for me. Like Gruev has to be fit. I think um, Gruev has to be fit in order for us to uh, to be at our best. I think you know. Um, Jamie's gonna let us know. Hopefully, there'll be something on. Um, yeah. Um. Yeah, we'll we'll have to wait and see. Um. Now we've got 141 likes. This is 530 people watching. If you haven't already, smash a like on the video for me. Um, it'd be great if you could do that. Harvey says, Joe, why don't we play a a three back and have Joseph and Rook behind Bamford? Um, I I just think it it'd be mad to 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 change uh, everything up just for this game. Um. Yeah, Robin, I think the big thing is as well, I do think they will they will at least take something from Ipswich. They might not win, but they will take something, especially at home. Ipswich haven't won them in nine years. If Ipswich get something, then you have to say at that point, do you know what I mean? Like, okay, um, yeah. 
So um, if they beat beat them, you have to sort of like hold your hands up and say, okay, I think they might do it. And it'd be amazing if they did. Fair play to them. Um, let me remind you of today's sponsors as well. It's the Amazing Football Prizes. We've worked with them for a few years now. Absolute legends of the game. No Leeds United prize because obviously uh, 15 years at Carroll Road. Yeah, 15 years at Carroll Road, nine in total. But yeah, 15 at Carroll Road, Robin, you're right. So that's even better, isn't it? Um, but yeah, this is the kind of uh, content um, they, they have for you. Like I say, no Leeds prize. That was, um, that was um, the whole game the other day um but uh yeah so these are what's on offer for you a lot of them for teams that you know won't interest you apart from maybe the england one it's only 1.95 a ticket you can get private jet to england versus um versus uh slovenia um but like if you want look you can get a tag ho uh formula one watch look at all them watches there they're quite impressive two pound 95 a go uh, imagine you want to watch for £2.95. Even if you didn't want it, you could sell it. Um, so, yeah, football prizes, link is in the description. I'm not a big Easter egg hunt, uh, Easter egg hunt, uh, although I did do an Easter egg hunt for my son yesterday, but no, I'm not a big um, e uh, egg hunt, uh, chocolate hunt. I've had a Maltesers bar from my Maltesers egg that I got off my son. Um, I've ate that, but the chocolate has gone in the fridge. Probably won't use it, uh, if I'm honest. Um, I think, let's have a look. Um, we failed to take an opportunity on Friday, despite the rivalry of a plastic Yorkshire derby. I think Leeds won't miss tonight's opportunity. Norwich could damage both. Yeah, let's hope so, James. I hope you're right. Um, let's have a look. Norwich win, Leeds win. Ipswich to draw. £10 on that. Yes, please. That'd be nice. Um, yeah, uh, he's a midfielder, bro. I don't know in which area of the pitch. I don't know if he's a 10, a CM, or, or a 6. I, I won't lie. Um, uh, yeah, Carvalho is a good player, Matty. Uh, I can't lie. Carvalho is very good. Um, they're called surprise eggs now. No, I've seen that. Gesture eggs. Gesture eggs, i seen. Was it Cadbury's who called them gesture eggs? At the end of the day, it's a fucking Easter egg, innit? Come on now. Leicester have been so bad lately, I reckon they bottle automatic, says XP Franco. If they do, it would be insane. It really would be insane if they were to bottle it. Um, has anyone been done by any um, any uh, April Fool's jokes? I've not, actually, you know. Did you see Leeds have offered? Nah, I don't believe that, mate. Uh, I don't believe that. Don't read it. I think it came from the sun. I do think conversations will be had, though. I know I know. clearly people disagree. But if there is an opportunity where it works financially, Leeds United will do the deal. I've said that. Uh, but 30 million, no. I don't want to spend 30 million. We, we sold him for 42 years ago. And he's dropped off massively since then. So, no way. Uh, hey up from sunny Mediterranean, 32 degrees, Southampton a win or a draw, which is better. I, again, <laughs> no, it's not, Dave. Not in today's world. Not in today's world. Back in the day, yes, not in today's world. Uh, hey up from sunny Mediterranean, 32 degrees, love that. Southampton a win or a draw, which is better. Everyone's saying Southampton a win. I haven't really thought about it. That's why I asked the question, but majority is saying Southampton win. Um, hey, nice try, Ethan. That's that's yours, isn't it? That's that's your April Fool. Um, see, Jared, this isn't true. This isn't true. Because I don't know if you realise, but he won England's best player while playing in that position alongside Declan Rice. So it isn't true. He's just a massive confidence player. Um, so let's not forget, he got to a Euro final playing in that position. You know, so... It isn't true, but I hear what you're saying. Someone sent me a pic of Tottenham. <laughs> you can't get on the field, mate. It's not a comp conspiracy. What are you on about? I didn't say it was, but you've just said he can't play in a two, which again is tr in incorrect, isn't it? So it's not you're just telling lies. <laughs> It's not about a conspiracy, Jared. You're just telling lies because he can play in it too. 
So there you go. Um, but yeah, like he, he has dropped off. Um, his head's not in it. You know, he swore at the West Ham fans. Normally, Calvin's not that kind of guy, but that shows you just how how down he is. You know, um, and I feel sorry for him because he's our boy. You know, what I mean, that's you know why what evoked my emotional reaction yesterday as well. I'm an emotional guy. I wear my hat on my sleeve. It is what it is. You know, uh, Kev. I hope I hope Gruev plays because um, that would be that would be great. And and listen, what happens if Calvin comes back? Yeah, no, that's fine, Rossi. We don't have to agree. What happens if Calvin comes back? Then what are we going to do? Start deleting tweets and opinions? Yeah, my Paco Mac, I will be doing the Ipswich versus Southampton. That's what annoys me. Like, like with the disrespect shown to, like, Luke Ayling. But then people will call him a legend or whatever. You can't, It's not the same. I, I, and, and it's the same, like, with Cooper. Yes, he might be shit now. Yes, he's not to the level anymore. I still show respect for the guy. You know? Anyway, back to this game. Leicester 4 3 3. Um, and Diddy Winks, Dewsbury Hall, Fatou, Daka, Mavadidi, Ricardo Pereira back in at right back, uh, Fast Vestergaard, and Doyle. Uh, Doyle coming in for James Justin, and uh, Hamza Chowdhury has been dropped as well. Um, who said he's fat? <laughs> um. Tyler Adams made his debut on Saturday. I know he's not flavour of Leeds fans, but he looked very good. Yeah, he's very good. He's very good at what he does. Um, I can't lie to you, Mark. He is very good at what he does. Um, I don't think he's great on the ball, but if you want a destroyer or a water carrier, he is that. You know, he will break up play and then pass it to those that can play. Um, he'd have been great, like, in the 90s. Do you know what I mean? I think sometimes you want more now from your six, like your Rodgers, your Rices and stuff when he plays there. You want them to be able to carry the ball, to spray the ball left and right. And I don't think Adams has got that to an amazing level. But he's great at breaking up play. For me, anyway, people would disagree. I think Gabe disagreed I had, um, with Oscar on it. But, yeah, listen, it is what it is. Um, right, Leicester have it all to do. Big game this, you know, big game. Because if they lose this, it is not looking good. Not looking good. Where does a win put them? At? Will a win put them back at the top of the table straight away? Let's have a look. Um, yeah. So a win for Leicester uh, puts them on 85. Yeah. A win for Leicester puts them on 85 um, and puts us into third. Um, a win for Norwich will cement, start to cement their, their top six. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's, it's a big game. A point. Point will be good for us, like because they wouldn't pass us. They wouldn't pass us due to goal difference, and then we have a we have the game to create that gap again. Um, you know, we didn't really take advantage Monday, but there were a lot of different variables coming into that. Um, you know, when you consider a new manager away from home and all the injuries we had, we, I thought we gained a point in the end. Um, I thought we gained a point in the end. <coughs> Canary in a coal mine says signs to cut this lot up. Hope you're right, mate. Very good player, as is Sarah. Um, what I will say, folks, uh, if we can, um, please smash a like and subscribe if you're new as well. We're getting so close to 28k. 43% of you think Norwich will win. Um, I've put a little pin tweet. Help us reach 28,000 subscriber. Um, subscribers, subscribe now and be part of the amazing journey. We're not too far away now. Uh, 27,848. Um, that puts us on 150, is that? 152? About that, right. We're underway, folks. Let me just get my uh, get my timer on. Big up to Roderick supporting us. Wants us back uh, in the premises. Come on, Norwich. Um, anyway, let me uh, let me get the lineups up in front of me so I can see. I did have a little build a bet. Over 2.5 shots on target for Leicester. Over 2.5 shots on target for Norwich. Over one goal, over seven corners, and over one card. There you go. Um, two to one, that was. We really can't drop points against Hull Leicester and Ipswich will both win today, says Paco Mac. Um, I don't know about Ipswich. I can't call that one, but I do think Leicester might win this at home. If they don't, 
it's not looking good for them, I can't lie. There's a, there's a foul early doors here, a uh, head injury, I think. Uh, Josh Sargent has basically headbutted the side of, of Vestergaard's face. Uh, not, in not intentionally, though, I don't think. Um, Leicester City need three today, says Jared. They do, mate, you're right. Um, they do need that. Big up to Lofts anyway, I forgot to say. Member for 40 months. I know I read the chat, but member for 40 months. Herbert says, twist my arm and I'd have to bat Norwich. We have to, man. We need Norwich to win if, if Leicester lose this. I mean, Leicester have got some tough games coming up as well. I know we all have, right? But I think ours is the easiest running, if I'm honest. So, yeah, you've got, you've got to back us. Uh, Everton have reported an 89.1 million loss for the 22-23. It's the sixth straight season where Everton have declared a loss with the club now 330 million in debt. <sighs> wow. It's not looking good. It's not looking good for them, is it? Norwich, in possession of the football early doors. More of the same, please. The Canaries. D. Cern goes out wide to Science. Good track. Tackle by Pereira. Oh, he's done well there. And um, Fatou. Fatou is garbage defensively, by the way. We uh, we established that fact. Ooh, out first. Heavy touch. Just had to poke it out. If Norwich get the first goal, the crowd will turn in Leicester. I'm telling you now. Uh, Nunes looks for a cross. Vestergaard will get there. They always sent to be... Like, when we've watched Leicester in the past, uh, a sense of inevitability that they'll win or at least create chances, it's not the same anymore. Like, in terms of where they are in the form table, they're down near the relegation zone, so it's mad. Here's Doyle. Mavadidi, good flick into uh, Dewsbury Hall. Jack Stacey, phenomenal defending there. Little back heel gave it to... Oh, Barnes does really well. Ashley Barnes, of course, formerly of Burnley. Fast beats him to the ball this time, but that's a good tackle. And they'll deal with it here. I do really, really like Kenny McLean. You can see why Farker wanted him. And maybe that's someone we look to, because he would be cheap if we did get promoted. I know people won't say he's a Premier League player, but it's squad options, right? We need to bolster that squad if indeed we do get promoted, which I think we will. Um... My uh, confidence has, uh, has not been shaken um, by shouts of automatic promotion by winning the title. But even if we don't win the title, anyone who wants to throw shade said, you said we win the title. If we get promoted in second, I'll be like, yeah, we're in the Premier League. Leave me alone. <laughs> and Sarah there with a poor pass back to his goalkeeper, which has meant um, it's gone uh, it's, it's gone for a corner. I will be doing bro, but I'm, n I'm not doing any 3 pm -er. I'm not doing any 3 pm -er, so I'll be... Uh, yeah, um, I'll be just here for the um, for the five thirty and hour game on the night. Dewsbury Hall cross headed out uh, really well by I think Sorensen. Vestergaard, good challenge there by Barnes. Be a throw into Leicester. Four minutes in. Here's Harry Winks. Uh, Doyle, Doyle on loan from City hasn't played as much as probably would have felt him and James Justin shared the minutes while Fess switches it out to uh, Mavadidi Mavadidi one of the bright sparks from the other the other day, he is Dewsbury Hall who was garbage by the way against Bristol City and there he's just heavy touch but Mavadidi always stands out for me I, I, you know I think more so than Dewsbury Hall Dewsbury Hall doesn't seem to be the player since post January, maybe that has something to do with all the interest in him uh, from top clubs. Manchester United have also been mooted with an interest after Brighton were interested in January, and he probably knows that in the summer he's not going to be here. And not only that, Leicester have a hell of a lot of players out of contract, top players as well. So, you know, the off field stuff won't be helping them either. Like, <laughs> so it's all happened at the wrong time for them, I think got an itchy beard man I need to get some um, beard moisturizer he is um, well fast I think fast is out of contract there's a Vestergaard 
into fuss. Vestergaard swings it out to Mavadidi. Oh, Mavadidi can't bring it down though, and it'll be a uh, it'll be a throw into Norwich. Vardy retire. Mm. I think he's out of contract as well. Lox is going to join us at half time as well. He's just text me, which is good. Have a nice little trim wag. Smash a like, folks. It's free. Yeah, if you haven't already liked the video, subscribe if you're new as well. That massively helps, as you know. Uh, we're nearly at 300 likes. Here's Mavadidi. Leicester started the better side so far. Standing up, Jack Stacey comes inside. It's a pass to Winks. Winks touches heavy. Chance here for Ricardo Pereira. Tries to play in Dewsbury Hall. It's not a bad pass, that, you know. Mavadidi can keep it in. But across goes, um, I think it's Gibson, and Gibson makes a makes a vital little uh, vital little flick, and it'll be a corner ball for Leicester. They do have two players, and two centre backs that can head a ball for sure in in Fass and Vestergaard. In it comes Mavadidi, can't beat first man, headed out by Gabriel Sara. Winks to Dewsbury Hall. He'll probably give it back to Mavadidi. Gives it in back. Dewsbury Hall again. Bit of a heavy touch. Nah. He, no, ref. He fell down. That's poor. That's poor for me. Nunes can't believe it. I think it was soft. Don't know how you folks see that, but definitely looked soft to me. If you look, Dewsbury Hall's gone across his man to... Yeah, it's really soft. How did everyone get on with the fantasy team anyway? I bossed it. Bossed it, people. Jamie Dixon, I see you're doing well, bro. Are you still doing well? I bossed it. Um, yeah, Jamie, yeah. Definitely not. It was rubbish. Um, but uh, I hit my wild card, you see, for the last 10 games and got 68 points. So happy days. So Dewsbury Hall with a free kick. They've had quite a few um, like crossing opportunities. Oh, it's headed out by Norwich. Dealt with it only as far as Winks. Winks out to Fatawu. Across goes McLean. And Diddy, heavy touch, and it'll go for a goal kick. But yeah, I did well on my fantasy team this week. Um, wow, overall, that is good, Jamie. That is good. Are you near the top of our league then? No worries, bro. Enjoy your day. I hope you enjoy it, man. Yeah, I can imagine, Jared. Football all week, isn't it? It's Football Tuesday, Wednesday in the Premier League. And then again, um, we play... On Saturday, we'll be doing Norwich, Ipswich, and then Coventry, Leicester. Uh, Coventry, Leeds, what am I talking about? So, yeah, there's that for us to look forward to. <clears throat> Jacob Sorensen has had to go off injured here. On comes Shane Duffy. I'm calling a Shane Duffy headed goal for Norwich. But yeah, that's that's disappointing for them. They've had to make an early change. Yeah, I'm considering bringing in Havertz because I can't afford Saka or Odegaard. And uh, I did have Anthony Gordon, but he's suspended, isn't he? So I might I might just make a change there and uh, bring on um, bring in Havertz. Sent forward. Headed by Winks. And uh, he is Goyle. Leicester better side uh, in the opening 10 minutes. Norwich under the cosh a little bit. Not have much possession in the football, which you would expect um, Leicester at home. But Barnes has done well there, taking it off Pereira. There's Sara. His pass is good into Sainz. Sainz keeps hold of the football. Fast is all over him, ref. Are we going to blow up here? Yes, I was going to say... All over him. Referee blew up. It'll be a free kick just um, around the centre circle. <laughs> Look at that person with a the hood there behind Wagner. <laughs> what are they doing? Are they asleep? They've got to be asleep. That person there has to be asleep. Don't forget to smash a like on the video for me, folks. Uh, we've got 302. Let's get that to 350 if we can. Keep supporting the channel. 
Ben Gibson and uh, Sarah over the free kick for Norwich. Switches it out to the right. Headed in field. Ooh. I tell you what, Hermanson, Fass and Doyle there. They didn't know who were coming for it and it just went out. But Fass and um, Hermanson have had words there. Not, not happy there. Hermanson were Fass, I don't think. Bit of miscommunication at the back. Here is Hermanson. Goes out to Doyle. Oh, sorry, it's Vestergaard. Yannick, who then gives it to Doyle. See, Leicester will play the same way. They don't seem to have a, a, a different like style, if you like. You know, I know we bemoan Farker's tactics of throwing on more players, but Leicester just play the same way all the time. And if it doesn't work, it's it's not great. Winks, Pereira. Jewsbury Hall loses out to Sarah Grit. No, you're having a stinker, F. That's two now he's given. That wasn't a foul. He's done really well, Sarah, there. There's Doyle. Winks. Vestergaard to Woutfess. Norwich just defending with two lines. Goes out to Mavadidi, across goes Sarah and Stacey. He's tried to dink it to back post and easy catch that for Gunn. Easy catch. Yeah, Wanderlust, I've seen it, you know. It is not looking good, is it? We've lost them all, haven't we? But listen... Uh, Fark has rewrote wrongs for a long time. You know, he's he's constantly tried to, or, or has constantly rectified things that we as Leeds fans were worried about. You know, you look at like our London form. We went to Millwall. We battered them three 0 There's loads of different parts where you, yeah, it means nothing under Farker, I don't think. Yeah, afternoon, Ben. I hope you're well. Big up to you. Big up to everyone. Smash a like on the video for me. Here's a chance. Ooh, not the best pass by uh, signs there, uh, to be honest. I swear that constitutes a shot on target. I don't know why. That's not showing as a shot on target, you absolute joke. Bet 365. Here's Vestergaard. Carries the ball over halfway. Gives it to Doyle. Well defended there by Gibson. It'll be a throw-in for Leicester City. There's zero atmosphere at the King Power, I can't lie to you. It sounds bleak. Maybe they should have listened to Leicester City fan TV and got them clappers in, man. That's a good ball by Winks, to be fair. Oh, ball through to Dakar. He's going to get round Gunn. Gunn's had to come out. Well done, Gunn. He's done really well there because he's tried to cut it into uh, Mavadidi, but the keeper stayed on his feet. It was a lovely ball. I tell you who started that, and you know I'm not his biggest fan, Harry Winks. Vital touch, actually, to be honest, from um, uh, Duffy, uh, which which meant Dakar had to go wide, and then the keeper came out and made a block. But it's another corner for Leicester City, Mavadidi needs to improve from these areas. He hasn't beat the first man on a couple of occasions. That one was even worse. And Gibson clears it with ease. That one didn't even go head high. Poor, poor uh, corners, to be honest, from Mavadidi in this opening 15 minutes. He's had a couple as well. But Norwich happy, just sitting off. 4-4-2 four, four, out of possession. There's the switch. That, oh, it's actually found uh, Fatawu. It looked like a poor pass initially. Fatawu. And did he? No, you can't give him ball for that. No way. I think it came off his head. And did he try to, to cross it, lift it up? I think it comes off his head. You can't really give that, can you? Let's have a look. And did he? Mm, nah, his hands here. 
I can understand why people are shouting for it. I can't lie. And I can understand why Leicester is shouting for it. But his hand's there. You know what I mean? So I think that would have been very harsh. He's kept it well in, well in his body. Uh, another corner, though. Let's see who's going to take this one. Will it be Will it be Fatou, Dewsbury Hall, maybe? Yeah, Dewsbury Hall. This will be a better delivery. I can sense a goal. Dewsbury Hall. No, not a better delivery. Don't beat first man either. Here's Fatou. Good feet. Still got it after a good defending from Saints. Dewsbury Hall. Out to the edge for Harry Winks. He's going to hit it. Poor. Poor strike. Dragged it wide. Really poor. Four corners already, though, in the uh, in the opening seventeen minutes. So they've um, they're on top for sure. If you haven't already, folks, smash a like on the video for me as well. We've got three fifty. Let's let's hit that that four hundred mark if we can. Here's Duffy, McLean dropping in there, along with Nunes. Gunt, nice little dink that out to uh, Gibson. Dinked forward. Fast wins the header, but takes out um, Sarah in the process, so it'll be a free kick on halfway for Norwich. Right, so I need to tell you something here. It's not bad, but... So, I normally have, like, a little bit of a nail. But when I'd gone hiking, my partner lost a key. So, I had to, like... And I also got my feet stuck. So, my, my fingers had muck in them. And I couldn't get them clean. So, I've had to cut them right short. Like, right, right short. But I can't itch her out. Because it's like my nail... <laughs> it's weird. Right, that's why I keep doing this. Because I'm not getting a proper itch. Because my nails are, like, right, right short. I don't know them people who, like, chew them that much. But they're, like, proper short. And it's actually, like, doing me head in a little bit. Anyway, a bit of pointless information there for you. But I can't get a proper itch. I need a back scratcher or something. Anyway, so throw in for, uh, for Norwich here in the final third. Um, 795 you're watching. Nearly, eight, um, nearly 800. Yes, Daryl, yeah, man. Happy days, bro. Happy days. Yeah, likes reminder from Robert. Listen to the man cross there, came Fast defends it. It's another corner this one time for Norwich. A hell of a lot of corners, man, in the early exchanges. I said over seven. We're already on five. Happy days with that. I can't lie. So we've got five. So that's decent. Don't forget to smash a like on the video if you haven't already, folks. We've got 372. Let's see if Norwich can deliver the ball because... Leicester haven't been able to. It's Nunez over it. You've got Barnes to aim at. Duffy. I said Duffy had to remember. Kenny McLean, Sergeant on the back post. In it comes. It's gone low. It's 1-0. It is 1-0. Gabriel Sara has made it 1-0 to Norwich City. They caught everyone off. You're thinking they're going high. They go low. Front post. Sarah's there, easy as you like, cannot miss. Wow. <laughs> Leicester are in the mood. Norwich haven't had a sniff. But look at this tapping. Where's the defenders? Oh, that's a lovely. I can't lie, that is lovely. Look, everyone's snapping. Vestergaard, Daka, Mavadidi, they're all napping. They think the ball, that is a beautiful free kick uh, corner, that you know. The way they've worked on that and Sarah just comes in and goes, I'll have that. There you go. One fecking nil. They're in the mud. <laughs> Can you believe it? Wow. 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 They are. Daryl, they are. <laughs> wow. Bold fraud, getting sacked in the morning. Wow. It is mental, bro. Mental. Yeah, Sarah does look a bit like Rutter. 
great. Honestly, the the uh, the cross was phenomenal. You've got to give you've you've got to give props for that cross because I thought it was lovely. Here is Sergeant. Sergeant. Saints! Oh, he nearly made it too. Norwich, their tails are up. The tails are up. Wow. The tails are definitely up. Oh, Sergeant now. Imagine that he got a second. My God. I, I can't believe this. This bottle is insane. It is insane. <laughs> Leicester City, what are you doing? Listen, there is still time, but if they were to drop this, after being on top, they were on top for the first 20 minutes, 18 minutes, whatever it was. One, one corner, bang, in you go. Can you believe that? Something's up with my USB connection. Something is up with my USB connections. On, on the, it keeps saying like uh, you need to unplug it or something. Locks is on it. Locks is started. Sack him, he says. Sack him. <laughs> Locks is on a mad one. Oh, Lester, man. This is a serious, serious drop off, by the way. Like, big time, if this happens. It's, it's, it's a big, big bottle. Isn't it? Like, it's a big bottle. The biggest of biggest bottles. Don't sack him, yeah, mental, mental. It is mental. But we are here for it, people. This is what we came for. Two litre, yeah. Two litre bottle of white lightning. I can't lie to you. Fatawoo's kept it in for Leicester. Fatawoo, cross. Dewsbury Hall gets beaten to the header. And Barnes sends it clear. This is a massive result for uh, Norwich, by the way, as well. If this comes in, I can't lie. But Norwich City's first shot in the game they're losing can you I, I genuinely am look I'm I, I did think Leicester will win this game and they, they could be but I did not listen let's not forget they were 17 points clear 17 points clear Oh, they've given it away here. Great challenge. Great challenge there, Nunes, to save himself. Where are they in the form table now? Let's have a look in the last five. Let's have a look at these live standings, if it stays like this. Form 19th in the last five. Obviously, that'll change. That'll change if they lose this and provided. They could be in the relegation zone form. Yeah, exactly. Love that. Mr. Dodo says, apparently, there was a gap. This is bad, man. Like, I can't wait to see locks at half time. It's happening again. Big time. It is wild. We will be there. It is mental. If they get beat here, like, I, w I need to have a look at Leicester's fixtures as well. Like, there's still a long way to go. They might come back in it, but... Once a rut's set in. So they beat, they've got Birmingham next. They win that. They're away at Millwall, away at Plymouth. There's some easy games. Maybe they get 
And then they've got West Brom, Southampton, Preston, and then finish at Blackburn. There's still chance, isn't there? We've got to keep winning. We've just got to keep winning. We just got to keep winning. It's a big game for them. Just another game for us. That Them comments will come back to haunt him, you know. Here's Fatawu. Let's get back on the game now. Uh, Fatawu, chance. Good challenge there. Heavy. That's a foul, is it not, ref? No. Fatawu's got the ball. Chance, Leicester. Oh, great defending. Phenomenal defending there by uh, Duffy. Phen phenomenal. Listen, there's a there's a thousand people watching. Big up to you all. If you haven't already, smash a like on the uh, on the video for me. 434 likes. Let's get that up to 500 if we can, folks, by smashing the likes. Here's um, Doyle. Doyle finds Jewsbury Hall. Jewsbury Hall pops one up. And Diddy, he's got to hit the target. He's got to hit the target, is in Diddy, and it goes way over. Poor effort. Finds himself underneath the ball, and uh, it only just goes up. But he's got to hit the target for me, folks. Yeah. Not the best head. We've just got to win our game tonight, haven't we? And then it's been a great, great... But but, but listen, actually, I don't want to count my chickens because I did think Leicester will win this game. And I, I don't think... <laughs> having looking at it now because... But they were on top. They were on They were on top prior to, to Norwich's goal. And then Norwich have a, have a goal and then a shot on target straight after. So hit that like button, as Will says. Yeah, if you haven't already, please do hit the like button. Be great if you could do that. Right, here's a free kick anyway for Norwich City. Just six likes away, folks, off there. Uh, off 500, make sure you like the video. He's in Diddy. Finds Dewsbury Hall. There's no one really up there with him. And Sarah makes... The oh, my God. This referee is soft, you know. This rough referees give a lot of soft... Uh, a lot of soft free kicks for me. Every time Dewsbury Hall gets challenged, actually, all told. Every time he gets challenged, he's blowing up. Absolutely banging. Lemon and lime. Oh, it's beautiful. Free kick to come for Leicester City. Winks and Dewsbury Hall over it. You've got to be looking at the big man, aren't you? Fass and Vestigard. Dewsbury Hall. Them set. Honestly, they can't beat the first man on any of them. Oh, chance. Oh, sorry. You should have just passed it instead of trying to take him on. Winks has won it back. Jack Stacey will clear it, though. Here's Dewsbury Hall. I think if it had just dinked it forward there, Sarah, towards signs, they might have been away. Oh, chance. No, they're going to deal with it. That's a free kick, ref. How are you not going to give a free kick there? Oh, Fatawu's just passed it straight to Sergeant. Sergeant beats Dewsbury Hall to it, who's come away with it, though. Doyle into Winks. Leicester knocking on the door. Here's Ricardo Pereira. The noise has gone up in the King Power. But that noise has quickly gone back down because they're going backwards. Hang on, they're in here. And did he to Fatawu? Can he find a cross? You've got to be looking at the back post. And did he cut back? Jewsby Hall heads it onto Mavadidi, but it's cleared. Cleared there by Gibson. Do you know what? Duffy and Gibson are doing well at the back as well. Vestergaard goes square into Winks. Winks playmaking from deep, or at least trying to. Goes to Mavadidi. Good challenge, Jack Stacey. Smashing it, Norwich. Keep going. 
see what the chat are saying. I don't know. If <laughs> it's a ref from Leicester. <laughs> yeah. Leicester have been on top all game, really, if I'm being totally honest. But all it takes is one, one, one chance. And I mean, the 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 corner's brilliant because everyone's expecting it to go in the air for Barnes, for the likes of um, you know Gibson and Corn. They just go front post and the straight cuddle in the uh, the free. Oh, it's Andy Hughes. Oh, we have Andrew Hughes to thank for that. Love that. Andrew Hughes for Leeds. Another chance here. Here's Stacey, who's played well at fullback, by the way. So we have Andy Hughes to thank for that free kick piece, by the way, uh, for the corner piece, by the way, folks. Nunes looking for signs, but it goes straight through to Hermanson. Big up William as well for the super chat. Cheers, buddy. Here's Wout Fess. He's going to carry it forward and then goes back to um, Ricardo Pereira. 32 minutes. Doyle. You can, I can almost hear the, 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 the annoyance coming from the Leicester fans now, you know what I mean? Because they're not, you know, asking... They're not creating enough, but there could be a chance. Here's Wout Fess to Fatawu. Fatawu, cross by Fass, clearance. Oh, Fass has done well to win it back, though. Here's Ndidi, cross. Mavadidi, Dewsbury Hall. It is one all. It's one all at the King Power. Keenan Dewsbury Hall gets them back level terms. You can tell how much that meant. You could... It's sort of been coming. It's been coming. It's one all. Leicester live. Leicester. Yeah. Enzo saying calm, calm. Pass, pass, pass. It was good. It was a good cross. Wow, Fess has done really well. Fatawu gives it back to Fess. Fess pops it up, comes back out. And the cross from Ndidi is brilliant, to be fair. Mavadidi heads it back towards goal. And Dewsbury Hall's there to, to... It's all about Ndidi's cross. Headed back across and... Um, and Dewsbury Hall can't miss, can he? Dewsbury Hall can't miss. And it is one all. Leicester will... Just before half-time, that is 10 minutes. They could go on and, and win this, though. I did say... Oh, that's a bad challenge there by Duffy. Dewsbury Hall had got round him. He'll take the yellow card, I think. If he doesn't get a yellow, I'll be very surprised. He is getting a yellow. The card's coming out. <coughs> He's definitely getting a card in it. Where's my drink? Where's my other one? Oh, it's there. Card coming for Duffet. Rightly so as well. Dewsbury Hall had done him. He was around him. Duffy had given it away as well, and Dewsbury all had done him for pace, so you've got a feel, uh, one all, yeah, it's one all, folks, in the chat, you've got a feel that Leicester, who, to be fair, we've said, we're on top, and they were on top, and Norwich had one shot, although Leicester hadn't had many shots at goal, they were massively on top, Dewsbury Hall with the set piece, see if they can improve these, because they've been piss poor up to this point, Again, it's poor. Again, it's poor. Oh, poor by signs. Mavadidi's fine. Dewsbury Hall, he's returned it back off him. Mavadidi clipped through to Doyle. And that's going to be a goal kick. Norwich just need to settle a bit now. Just get on the ball for a bit, which they haven't done, to be honest. It has been all Leicester.
Jonesbury Hall, their best player. Um, good game, this says Dolly. Yeah, I mean, it's been all been all Leicester. Norwich really haven't offered much. <laughs> I like what you did there, Steve Balls. I nearly said yes, indeed. <laughs> Yeah, Norwich um, not been great in possession. Offside, is it? Yeah, offside again, Sergeant. Leeds will always let you down, says outrageous Charlie Howell. What do you mean? He is fast. Fatawu. Gets around McCallum. Cross and Diddy. Winks. Oh, it's a poor effort in the end. Easy save for Gunn. Easy save for Gunn. Probably should do better. It's a cutback by Ndidi. But the shot is really tame and poor. Really tame. They've got about... Let's have a look. Seven minutes left. Norwich are holding on a little bit. Ball sent forward by Gunn. Easy dealt with by... Uh, by Vestergaard. And uh, Leicester will come again now. Is a uh, poor touch by Fatawu. And it'll be, I think it's a throw. I think it's a throw, peeps. Don't forget to um, smash a like on the video. We've got 556 likes. Here's McCallum with the throw. Oh, that's a poor throw. Bands. Can't keep it in, and it'll be a throw in to uh, Le Leicester City. Pereira takes it quick, gives it to Woutfess. Woutfess into Vestergaard, and he'll move it on to Doyle. For me, I almost feel like just Norwich need to get to half time and then uh, and then reassess. I don't know what you folks think. Fast to Mavadidi. Avadidi has a chance to just touch it down into Doyle. Doyle will try a cross. It's not a bad cross, but easy for uh, for Gunn to collect in the end. A bit too close to the keeper. Watch McCallum. Oh, they're for... Um, do you remember Spygate, mate? I bought them for Spygate. Yeah. Bought them for Spygate, mate. If you haven't already, smash a like on the video, folks. We've got 567. Let's get that up to 600 if we can. Um, Duffy goes to Jack Stacey, who tries to send it upfield, but it's well blocked by Fatawu, uh, by Mavadidi. Sorry, there's Ndidi. And Winks looking to switch the play out to Fatawu. McCallum comes across to his man, but Fatawu's cooking him, to be fair. Fast. Tries to pop it up to Dewsbury Hall. It's won by Duffy. And then Mavadidi's got it. Can he keep it in? He tries to cross it, but it's easy for Gunn uh, to collect. It's one apiece. We've got five minutes till half time. Be interesting to see what Locks has got to say now that they've equalised. Does he still want Enzo sacked? We shall see. Gunn into McLean. Oh, yeah, free kick given. Free kick given by Winks on Sarah. Chance for Norwich to actually get out because it's been all Leicester City. Uh, sorry, foul was on Nunes. Oh, me back. Thousand people watching. Big up to you all. If you haven't already, smash a like. Let's get to 600 likes. Just 20 more likes to do that. If you could do that, that'd be greatly appreciated. Here it goes into Sarah. 
Barnes tries to swing one out to um, to Stacey. It's not a bad ball, but just a little bit too much on it, which means it goes for a Leicester throw. Could see what he's trying to do. Playing in the 10 today, Barnes. Behind um, behind uh, Sergeant, but like 4-4-2 four, four, went out of possession. He's in Diddy, back to his goalkeeper. Leicester have been by far the better side, though, I can't lie. Uh, Nathan Kindon, uh, who's been a member for two months, big, big up to you, Nathan, says, um, yes, Joe, keep up the good work, pal. Thank you, mate. We'll, we'll, we'll do just that. Thanks very much for your support, Broski. Winks again out wide to Fatawu. Little one-two there between Pereira and Fatawu. They keep trying to get it out to... Uh, to the wingers, Fatawu. Touched by McCallum. Let's it go for a corner. It's going to be a corner. The corners have been pulled by Leicester. Really poor. Six hundred and five likes. Big up to you all. Here comes Fatawu. Then he's going to take this one. There's the cross, it's deep, but Gunn collects it. No quick release of the ball. And they'll take the time here. Stoke versus Huddersfield on the uh, 3 o'clock. We do not concern ourselves with relegation battles, peeps. But we will be back, 5 o'clock. Ape switch versus Southampton. Here's Duffy, big hoof up field, fast Vestergaard, ooh, a bit shaky, Vestergaard there, turns though, good pressing from Norwich, but they could have left themselves um, open here, no, well blocked by Stacey, I do like Jack Stacey, good football Norwich, Barnes, nah, they've won it back, here's Ndidi in the centre of the park, he's got Fatou in acres of space, the ball isn't the best, but Fatou's done well, he's got a chance to run at McCallan, Fatou pops it up, but it's well headed out by Duffy, brought down by Vestergaard, here's in Mavadidi, who's managed to find Dewsbury Hall, who sends it back to Winks, and Leicester might have another chance before this half is done, it's headed by McCallum, I don't rate McCallum, Oh, he's made a good challenge on Fatawu there, though. Fair play. No option for him, but he has found McLean. Kenny McLean. There's Sergeant. Gets wrong side of Pereira. Can he find a Norwich body in the box? Sergeant. Goes back to Nunes. Nunes. Oh, it's headed by Vestergaard. And it'll be another corner, folks. Turns out Norwich might have the last say of this half. They're not, they surely won't go for the same tactic. Surely won't go for the same tactic. So Sarah's going to take this one. Let's see what Andy Hughes has got cooked up for us this time. But I think it's just going to go straight in the air, this one. Surely. They're going straight on the line, though. They're going on top of Hermanson. They're all going front post. Clipped up. Ooh, Sergeant with the header, but it does go up and over. There's Fast. Fast goes to Mavadidi. Shrewsbury Hall wins the ball. No free kick given against him. Here's Mavadidi. He has a chance to cross. That's not a corner. Oh, Fatua. He's, he's Fatua's got the ball here. Gives it to him. Did he cut back? They want on ball. Gibson again. Big peels, but referee can't see anything. So it'll be a corner. Another corner. Three minutes added on. Leicester City knocking on the door again. No fake scores, please, because you will be, like, muted. 
No, it's no on ball. Fatawu, let's have a look. Nah, again, his arms here. He can't well, he can't chop off his arms, can he? Cross to come in. Headed out. Sarah heads it out with ease. We've got two minutes left in this half. It's been an enjoyable game, hasn't it? It's been, um, without there being massive goal-scoring opportunities, it's still been a decent watch. It's not been a snooze fest. Here's Winks. Winks to Vestergaard. Vestergaard gives it out to Mavadidi. Mavadidi now running at Stacey. Stacey's had a good afternoon, unlike uh, McCallum at left-back, I think. Crossed by Winks. Headed out by McCallum. Straight to Fatawu, though. Fatawu cuts in. He's shot. He's terrible. Gets underneath it. Sends it for a conversion. More so a conversion. It's going to be a goal kick anyway. Fatou's uh, chip is uh, way over. We've got a minute left, folks, of this half. Clip forward by and Diddy. Here's Fatawu in field to Dewsbury Hall. The pitch has really opened up here. Good ball by Fatawu. Here's Dewsbury Hall. Dewsbury Hall has a shot, but it's well blocked by Duffy. Should have maybe give it to Mavadidi. Here's Winks. Leicester still knocking on the door. 30 seconds left of this half. Winks. It's 1-0 by Sargent. Sargent runs past Doyle. No free kick, but does run it into touch. You've got about 20 seconds, folks. Here is Vestergaard and Diddy. Half time, there we go. What I am going to do, folks, Lox is going to be joining us in just a sec. I am just going to quickly run to the toilet, though. Um, I'll stick uh, a little advert here. I'll be back with you in a sec, folks.
Big up there, Locks. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, mate. Yeah. yeah. You can't see me, though, can you? No. Uh, it's just I've just run to the toilet and the signal's down there, so it's showing that it's uh, not connected. Right. Uh, I'm just going to turn my camera off while I fix this. Uh, talk to me, though, bro. How are you feeling about uh, that half? Because you told me sack him when the goal went in. Are you still standing by that statement? Well, I said it on uh, said it on Friday too, mate. Um, by the way, there's a little bit of an echo, mate. Just to let you know. Um, but yeah, right, um, okay. let me. Let me sort it's that. uh, yeah, it's been a weird half, mate. It's, it kind of started pretty much exactly the same as it has in all of the recent games. Um, probably the worst defending of a corner I've ever seen. I don't know what happened there. Um, well, I know do what not, happened. Do you, not think that though that, do you not think that's good from from Norwich that they realised that you would maybe nap and that they could get in that way? Or Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it, I think it was Daka not tracking his man. I think Daka yeah. was on Sarah um, and, and didn't follow him. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, obviously we've had two... Uh, by the way, I'm not complaining about this, but we've had two shouts for a handball, which I'm not... Care, I don't really care too much about, mate, because this is what happens when you don't have VAR. Um, the, the, it was... The, the angle that they were at compared to the referee, it was so it would have been so hard for the, for the ref to spot that. So I'm not going to complain about that. Mm. Um, and yeah, mate, and uh, you know what, mate? I'm starting to really dislike some of these fucking players, mate. I'm not going to lie. Like, really? Vout Fass, mate, did you see him? Vout Fass, uh, when, when we scored, he went up and like was copping his ears to the, the, fans, the fans because they've been... Oh, really? Yeah? I'm like, get lost, mate. You've been shit. You have been Never shit. Don't even... That, don't try and give it the big one, mate. You know mm. what I mean? He's been the worst defender for us in the last in the last few weeks, so he can do one. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you saw this. I don't know if you've got the audio on for the game like when you're watching the game. Yeah, mate, yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, in the build up, in, just before the go just before our goal, we were like yeah. the fans were groaning mm. and basically cheering every forward pass, um, which I thought was really interesting. Um, so yeah, and you could, then uh, you could tell there was well, a little bit of unrest coming just before that goal. By the way, too right. They yeah, yeah. too right. Fully fully deserved, mate. I mean, if it, if it was one nil to Norwich at halftime, I would have encouraged yeah. all of the fans in the stadium to boo them all, mate. So that's can, what I think. Can we have a chat about your mural? Because um, I think this looks more like you than it does Jamie Vardy. I don't know if you've oh, I've seen, seen that. This, bro. That's yeah, um, I've seen that. I mean that look that looks more like you, Locks, than Jamie Vardy. Yeah, that's not that, good, is it? That's not great, and it's at it's not stadium. new, by the way. That's not a oh, new. Oh, is it mirror. not? No, right, that's old. Okay. That's like five, six, seven years old, something like oh, that. Wow. Yeah, I don't know why. Okay, I don't know why uh, they've said that. I, the The original tweet is from Jake Watson, who's a Leicester fan, um, on the uh, on a podcast, a Leicester podcast, who, who works for Talksport. Um, right. He he he. That was the original tweet, and he said, "I've I've walked past this mural like hundreds of times." Uh, and every time I, I think it looks like Mason Mount, someone, he, I think he said Mason Mount. Um, someone said it looks like Connor. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's <laughs> <But> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love that. Um, yeah, it's not great. So, but uh, look, if I'm being honest, Leicester have been the better side by far, bro. They've actually played decent. So are you not yeah. happy with the performance? Yeah, but we always look like the better side. You didn't against we Bristol City. Like the, I think we look like the better side in terms of, like, I know I hear what you're saying. I get what you're saying. And the bet, yeah, the better team. I yeah, I hear what you're saying. Actually, I, yeah. I, in terms of, um, we always have great, you know, in in terms of like positional play and um and, and the shape, we always look decent. It's just obviously we, we're we're not capable of a lot of the time of creating chances that are good enough. That that's literally it. And I think um, I think. I don't know, mate. It's, it's tough. I, 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 you know, you saw it with Norwich, mate. When Norwich scored, they came at us straight away. Like they, they, yeah, they yeah, came they through had a straight shot away. Straight away, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they know that they know that's where we 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 are at our most fragile is after we've just after we've just conceded. And to be fair, you know, they they, they could have scored another one straight after, and then that mm, would have mm. been cut. That would have killed it, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah science. It was oh, yeah. saved by Hermanson, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, um. You know, I, I hear what people are saying in terms of we look like we're, you know, we're fighting back and all this, yeah, yeah. but 
I just don't think it's I just I just don't think it's good enough, mate. I think we're I think we could we can score again. We can win the game quite comfortably now if we carry on how we've been doing in the, in the last 15 minutes. But you, you turn up for a game 15 minutes, mate. You turn up for a game for 15 minutes because that's what we did. Yeah, people will say we looked we looked good all game, but it's not enough. You know, you need to score goals. We we didn't have these problems as much earlier in the season. Um, you know, we scored a lot, a lot of late you know goals I think I put, earlier in the I put, season. I put, I put, yeah, I, do you know what I put a lot of that down to, though, as well is like, I think sometimes especially a team like Leicester, and let's be honest, they're a, they're a great team, they're a great squad. It felt almost like people were beaten before they even played you. Do you see what I'm saying? And now teams are coming, now that we're, you know, 40, you know, I don't know how many games we're in now, but we're, we're getting close to that 40. Like, people are like, you know what, we can we can actually get something here. We can actually give it a go. And I think, you know, I, I put, put that down. And obviously, once you're on a rut, you're in a rut. Like I think you might come back from this, and 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 I said before the game started, I fancied you at win locks in all honesty. Because after this, you've then got Millwall, you've then got Plymouth. They should be easy wins for you. You know what I mean? So this this result a lot hinges on this. I think a, draw, a point's not good enough, is it? I mean, it's still doesn't mean you're done by any stretch of the imagination, but you need three points, right? Yeah, um, I mean, I saw somebody earlier say that it's like one of the most important games of our history. I saw somebody wow. say in terms of well, trying it could to turn be, ar- when you when you consider what could happen if you didn't go up. Yeah, yeah, of course, trying to stop the rot. Basically, I think yeah, you yeah. know they were referring to by saying that because you know if you win today, then you you never know you could go on a on a little winning streak. Um, yeah, yeah, I think Enzo Marasca even said after the last game that you know we just need one win and. And uh, it could give us the confidence to go and win more, but I just can't see it, mate. I'm sorry, I'm I'm being so negative, and you know it wouldn't surprise me if if Norwich go and score in the next, you know, in the first five ten minutes of the second half. Um, and I think what Mark, the comment there from Mark Joe and Mark Gaston, sure. running out of chances. That is literally it. We are running out of chances to change your fortunes. Like you look at. Yeah. Um, you look at the Bristol City game after the international break and you, and you look at that game and you think that is the perfect opportunity to come out back from the international break, get a win and then go on a little run. And we didn't mm-hmm. take that chance. And, you know, at the minute it's 1-1, you know, it's it's level at the minute. Um, again, it's another chance to stop the rot, but you have mm-hmm. to see it out. You have you have to get a win. And I, I don't have confidence in Leicester at the minute to score goals and keep you know, we haven't got the clean sheet, but, you know, keep goals out, basically. I haven't got any confidence. So, mm. I don't think the players do, mate, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. I think um, I think we might see Jamie Vardy in the second half to try and get a goal to, um, you know, to, to try and, you know, score one, score two, whatever, try and kill the game. But at the minute, you know, because this is the problem, mate. Like, if Norwich score again, again, the crowd are going to get toxic. And you can't yeah. blame them. You can't blame just... them because... I've just seen a funny tweet, though, right? By Big up Tom Carnduff, by the way, who uh, works for Sporting Life. He's a massive Leeds fan. Really need a win today. Any ideas of getting the atmosphere going? Someone's put, I've got one. Why don't we sarcastically cheer every time the ball is played to our winger? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's not getting behind the team, though, Lux. What yeah, but what do you clappers? expect? What do you expect? What do you expect? Like, what do people actually expect? We are 17 po- We were 17 points clear. And we've won one game in five. I, I, we were, I don't know what we are now in the form table, but it's probably in the last 10 games, I would imagine. You're about 19th, 20. but that doesn't include this one. Okay, so there we go. So if you've got nine, you know, if you're 19th in a form table after being 15 points clear, 17 points clear at, at the top of the league, what do people actually expect? You know, um, Pe- you, you you know, people can be. I understand people getting like a bit annoyed with Leicester fans after maybe losing one, two games, whatever, losing against Leeds, for example. You know, we don't really have a right to moan at that. But no, no, when no. you lose to Middlesbrough, QPR, uh, I can't remember the others, mate, because it's just a blur now. But you know, Bristol City, when you lose these games and you don't look like a team that should be anywhere near the top after being top for so long, yeah, the crowd are going to turn. And that will that will happen again if, if Norwich score. Um but it worked clearly. <laughs> the, the 
the sarcasm. Yeah, in the yeah, crowd, actually, but... it did. It did. You're right. Well, they're coming out for the second half. Do you want to join me at full time, mate? Are you about? Yes, mate. I'll jump on for five minutes at the end, yeah. mate, and let you no, know. No, that's that's you know perfect. Yeah. All right, then, mate. Right, I'll mate. see you at full time, pal. Oh, by the way, Thank by you. the way, just yeah, before you on. let me go, a uh, bit of news for you. I heard that at the end of the Bristol City game, there was Leicester on Leicester. There was a Leicester on Leicester fight between the players. Oh wow! One or two oh. players. Don't know. Don't know who. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, bro. I will <laughs> see, see you at full time, my man. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. What a legend, Lox is for coming on and uh, facing the music. There we go. We're about to get this second half underway. <laughs> Folks, get your score predictions in the chat. Oh, it's not gone yet. Uh, get your score predictions in the chat for me. Let me know your thoughts on how you see this going. Referee has blown his whistles. 45 minutes. Big 45 minutes incoming for Leicester. I still think the win. I did say this pre match, obviously. The Norwich goal came from a set piece. It has been all Leicester outside of that. I think Norwich have had two shots on target, but uh, Dahui thinks it'll be two all. We'll take it. We'll take it. Um, here's Fatou. Uh, not Fatou, early, early run here from uh, Leicester City. And Diddy with the cross. Great save gun that takes it away from Dewsbury Hall and then Mavadidi. Big chance at two all. Uh, with Leicester coming back a second time, says Mavadi, uh, says Mavadidi, <laughs> says Gary, um, <laughs> says Mavadidi. Imagine Mavadidi's in the chat. What's he doing? Duffy is the weakness, says AJ. I don't know. He's been all right when he came on. Sorensen obviously better, and um, he is what it is. But uh, yeah, um, big up to everyone anyway. We've got seven hundred and one likes. Uh, so if you could like the video, that'd be great. Let's get that to seven fifty if we can, folks. Massively helps the channel. Great cross by Ndidi, by the way. He can deliver a ball. He delivered the one for the first gun. Takes it away from Dewsbury Hall and then from Mavadidi. So good goalkeeping in the end there. Um, by 2-1 uh, Sergeant winner. I'll take that every day of the week. Please. Could be 2-2, two, two, but I want a 3-2. I predict 2-1 Norwich, says John. There you go. Um, Here's uh, Fatou, goes back to Ndidi and then into Wout Fess. Um, Wout Fess, uh, Pereira, Ndidi, Fatou. Leicester have come out and look like the main business, folks. I can't, I can't lie. Um, I know we've only played a minute and a half, but they've, they've started well. Here's Mavadidi, great cross. No one on the end, though. So that goes a begging, another one uh, going a begging there. Just for the builder bet, we need a shot on target each. One for Leicester, one for Norwich, and then one more card for that. 2-2 uh, two -two is a good call, says Trebor. I hope. I hope. Wait, that wasn't Peter K. Nah, that's locks. That's locks. Vardy would have been on the end of that. I'm not too sure, mate. Did you see Vardy against Bristol City? It's not, uh, it's not the same Vardy that we know. It's definitely not the same body. Make sure you check out the sponsors of the Just Your Football Show as well. The amazing, the fantastic football prizes run by a Leeds fan. Uh, many, many prizes on offer. Uh, no Leeds prize because that one's just gone, but you can win a Tyson Fury signed replica boxing robe. Um, you can win uh, Gio Reyna. Um, Nottingham Forest shirt if you want. Arsenal versus Luton tickets, which I think is Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. He is uh, Fatawu. Fatawu to Ndidi. Ndidi with the shot. Great save. Gun again. Great save by Gun again. Ndidi is the danger here. Fatawu and Ndidi down this right hand side have been really, really good. And, and it's a shot. Um, a shot on target, I would have said. Yes, a shot on target by Leicester. So we just need one more shot for Norwich. Um, and uh, another chance. Ooh, headed there by Doyle. Easy collection. For um for Angus Gunn, corner came in. It was actually a decent one. Um, Jewsbury Hall with it in, and Doyle heads it down into the ground, but it's an easy save for Angus Gunn. Um, don't forget, folks, smash a like on the video for me. We've got 722. Let's get to 750, not too far away now. Please do subscribe as well as the pin tweet says. Help me reach 28,000 subscribers. Subscribe now and be part of the incredible journey. Um, yeah, if you could do that for me, that would be great. 27,857, which means we've got 140, I believe, 140. Um, so hopefully we can achieve that today. Um, let's see if we can get 30 by the end of the season. That would be amazing. Um, Norwich and over 3.5, says Kearley. There you go. 
Hope that comes in. Emmett, I could see Leicester winning this three or four one. Wow. Luke says it looks like Mason Mount. It does, it does. I can't lie to you. Some are saying it looked like Connor, to be fair. Um here's Mavadidi. Uh Winks, Winks. This goes to Doyle. Give it back to Winks. Get it whipped in, Winks. Have you got it in your locker? He's crossed it. You know, he hasn't got it in his locker. It's headed out by Duffy. He is Vestergaard. Vestergaard. Jewsbury Hall wants it in between the lines, but it goes back to Winks. Jewsbury Hall gets it. Heavy touch. It actually is going to be a corner, that. Yep. Corner ball. Nunez got across, made the challenge. It'll be a corner ball. Just 16 likes, 4, 7, 50, folks. So if you're one of them 16 people that haven't liked the video, please do. Please do subscribe if you're new as well. Over a 1,000 people watching. Big up to you all. Uh, Jewsbury Hall now is going to take this corner for Leicester City. In it comes, and it's missed everyone. Fass and Vestergaard both under it, but he is Fatou. You got to watch him, did he? Him and, him and um, uh, Fatou and Ndidi have, have smashed it. Jewsbury Hall's on the deck. He wanted a penalty. It's crossed back across. It's headed out by Gibson. Mavadidi still got it. He's flicked it back to Jewsbury Hall. Could be a big chance, but that's great defending from Ashley Barnes, and it is cleared from Norwich. Could have easily been a penalty there had anyone dived in. It's back with Hermanson. Hermanson's got to watch it. He's done well, and he's uh, give it to Harry Winks, who was back in support with his goalkeeper. There's Doyle into Vestergaard on halfway. Leicester have started this half the way they played most of the first half just on top. Um... Fatawu and Ndidi combining again this time. Gibson gets across and puts it out for a throw. The way this game's second half starts, it, Leicester are going to win this game. I'll be very, very surprised if they do not win this game. Here's Wout Fass. Doyle. Doyle. Ah, it was almost a perfect pass through to Jews Behold, though, but the door was shut, slammed shut by... Um, Duffy, I think, and cleared, but like I say, Norwich are just penned in at the minute. Here's Doyle. Here's Wout Fass. Oh, tries to get it back off Fatawu, but there it is. It's a goal kick. That'll be a goal kick to Norwich City. 771 likes, 29 away from 800 folks. Like the video if you haven't already. It is uh, Leicester 1, Norwich 1. Make sure you check out football prizes as well. Is this another throw for... For Leicester, I think. Didn't see much of it, folks, because uh, they were showing as a replay, but I think it's a throw. No, it's, a, it's a Norwich throw. Jack Stacey, the one to take. Sent forward by Nunes, brought down by Sargent, but then... Ooh, good pressing that by Sargent, but he's the only one really doing it. Everyone else is just sat in the bank, so there's the ball. Oh, Mac oh Mavadidi's got to do better. Oh, it's Daka, sorry. McCallum, the right back, heads it back to his keeper. He's been poor. And um, you see uh, Dakar just, just read what he was trying to do and tries to take it round the goalkeeper, but his touch is really poor. I don't know if he's gone to try hook it in. Yeah, I think he's tried to hook it in, but he's fuming with himself there, Dakar. McCallum, really poor. Dakar read it. And look, it's all Leicester again. Like They're on top again here. Norwich can't seem to get out. They need someone to get their foot on it. Cyrus tried to do that. Oh, that was almost a perfect ball by Barnes for Sargent there. Unlucky, blocked and uh, cleared by Doyle, who then goes back to his goalkeeper. But Norwich just can't get a sniff right now, folks. I can't lie. They need to change something, does Wagner? Because while they're just sat in like this, they're, they're going to concede. I'm, I'm, I'm convinced. They're going to concede. Fatou tries to take on McCallum. It's cleared though by McLean. 
There is Sainz who goes back. McCallum, heavy touch. Foul given. Foul by Ndidi. I've uh, just put on a redirect as well for Joe Blackburn. Um, we finish um, two thirties going live, so it'll be after this. So, um, so yeah, two thirty after this, um, Joe Blackburn's going to be doing a. Um, he's going to be doing a, uh, a football manager stream. So if you want. Uh, please do, uh, please do go on over and watch that straight after this, okay? Um, it's all Leicester this though. It's got, um, it's got quite, um, quite one-way traffic really. Well, it has been all game if I'm being honest, but it's got a bit boring to watch because it's a bit like City, you know, you just pop it left, right, left, right. What we're gonna do? Left, right, left, right. And did he to Doyle? Doyle with the cross. It's gone out for a goal kick, I believe. No throw in. They're saying it didn't even uh, didn't go out, so it went straight for a throw. I think what I'll do after this is play some. Uh, I think I'm gonna play some. Uh, uh, Resident Evil. Yes, Jack, I will be back at five o'clock for that, and then straight after that, we'll have Leeds United for um, uh, Le Leeds versus Hull at Ellen Road. Hopefully stick um, and get back to winning ways. Um, here is Fatou. Fatou. The, oh, he's give it to Doyle. Could Doyle have a go? He has a strike, but it's blocked by Duffy. And it'll go for a throw-in. But it is all Leicester City. It is all... All Leicester City at the minute. Fast, heavy touch. But he's found Fatou back to Ricardo Pereira. And just to recycle the ball. Vestergaard out to the left. Mavadidi into Doyle. Doyle, wrong pass. What was that? Why ain't he gone out to the right? I think Pereira should have gone out right, I think. Don't forget to smash a like on the video for me, folks. You've got 800 likes on it currently. Let's see if we can get that to 850 and get up to 1,000 likes. That would be great. Uh, 1,077 watching, which is amazing. Big up to you all. Um, Angus Gunn then. Come on, man, he's jumped for the ball. What do you expect him to do? That haircut on signs is terrible, by the way. Why is it like jet brill cream wet look? Wet look gel, man. <laughs> do you remember that wet look gel? Is that still a thing? Always genuinely looks shiny and wet, but then it used to go greasy. Do you remember that gel that would crack? It was like crack and then your hair would be like, yeah, man. Vestigard. Gives it to Doyle, who then goes to Mavadidi. Flicked up there to Dewsbury Hall. Sainz makes the challenge. It'll be another throw. <laughs> Doyle.
Boom. Wow. I'm really sorry. I had a power cut. I had a power cut. I thought it would the whole street, but nah, just me. Just me. Power cut. Apologies. Apparently, it's 2-1 as well. I think I've missed the goal. Um, yeah, wow. So, I think it's 2-1, people are saying in the chat. I don't know what happened, but hopefully you can hear me and everything's good. Um, is everything good? Um, right, okay. We're back, though, now. So, I think it's 2-1, by the way. Yeah, it's 2-1. I don't know who scored it. What a shame. I had a power cut. Mavadidi with Jewsbury Hall on the assist. But listen, if we're being honest, it's nothing more than Leicester deserved. They've been well on top. Sound is good. Nah, I don't know. Do you know what? That was mad, man. Yeah, I've had a power cut. I've never... Not a power cut. You know where it trips the electric? But I went downstairs and my washer's full of soap. So I think it was my washer. So what I'll have to do is when I've finished here is reset that washer. Um... But yeah, it's 2-1. It's 2-1. You can see me now, Colin. Um, yeah, Norwich will have to come out and play, you're right, because uh, they haven't done enough of that. So Mavadidi scored on the 61st minute uh, with the, with an assist from Jewsbury Hall. I missed the goal. Apologies, folks. Um, but yeah. We might see some changes now. Uh, fuse went, yeah. Something went anyway. I'm not surprised sometimes with all electrics that I'm bloody playing. I can't lie. I'm just glad that the stream didn't go down. Because um, I thought it might have just booted, a, booted us off and I'd have had to restart it. So, yeah. <laughs> have the... <laughs> yeah. Can I have this? I don't know, Jeff. I don't know. Yeah. No, do you know what? I'm really disappointed by Norwich, to be honest. I thought they'd have a go and they haven't. They haven't really had a go at all, have they? Uh, if we're being honest, so that's poor. Um, don't bother your game over, someone's just said in the chat. Yeah, maybe, maybe now. Um, but listen, it was... Leicester have deserved this, if we're being honest. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, oh, he brings him down. Surely that's a card. Yeah, card incoming, there you go. We just need one more shot for... Um, we need one more shot for for. Yeah, it's, we need one more shot for Leicester, and we've won there. Um, so that'd be great if that could happen. So who's coming on then now? There's going to be changes. Nunes off, Barnes off, Gibbs and Fastnack coming on. What's Locke saying now? Locke says watchers will try and defend a 2-1 lead and concede so many chances. I hope they do. I hope they do. Something about Vestergaard that grates my goat. Not sure what it is. Um... Yeah. Listen, we've got 835 likes, so let's get that smashed up, folks. If we can, 15 likes for 850. Um, Science. Science under pressure, but he's done well. He's drawn the foul. That's a foul, ref. Surely. Well, let's hope it does come true what Lox has predicted and they do try and defend this now. Because if they do do that, it'll allow Norwich to get some chances. So, yes, I do remember that, Jamie Todd. Aye. 2-1, though, to Leicester. Which, to be fair, is not. Uh, you won't get no grumbles from me. I thought they'd win the game. Um, and they've, they've deserved to win the game because... Uh, uh, Norwich have been shite. Norwich have been pants. If we're being totally honest, Norwich have been crap. Which I'm really surprised at because they're one of the most informed teams in the league. So, What happened anyway when, when it went off? Did I just freeze in the same position? 
or did it just go off? Yeah, Norwich are good. They are good. Oh, just for us, right? Okay, cool. Like that? Yeah. I hope I didn't freeze in a weird place. Oh, poor keepers made an error. Could be a chance here. Oh, why have you done that? I think it's fast snap cross. Norwich back post headed by fast. Really good header, actually. All told, and Fatou has a chance to beat his man and. He's crapped that full back, that, that left back at um at Norwich. And here's Jewsbury Hall. There could be another chance here for Leicester after an attack. It's Mavadidi. Mavadidi. Poor strike. Poor strike by Mavadidi. <laughs> Locke says the only thing more predictable than Enzo's game plan is seeing his ball dead every weekend. There you go. They're in the mud, aren't they? They don't like him. I know why my lighting's changed. I did think my lighting's changed a little bit. It's because it's set back to factory settings. Does that look all right with them lights behind, or is it better with the bit of colour? Everything's sort of like reset because obviously it all went off at the mains. Winks. Here's Mavadidi. 22 minutes left. Don't forget to smash those likes, folks. We've got 43 from 900. Let's get them smashed up for me. Mavadidi tries to get onto a pass from Jewsbury Hall, but Stacey sends it back to his keeper gun. Leicester do have some good fixtures left. Birmingham, Millwall, Plymouth, West Brom, Southampton, Preston and Blackburn. Outside of West Brom and Southampton, they've got to be winning every single one of them. They're easy fixtures. Maybe Preston away, but all the rest... This game's massive. If Norwich can get an equaliser brought down, free kick. Oh, he's trying to take it quickly, but it's five yards in front of where he was fouled. So, rightly so, free kick. Um, and rightly so, gets told to, to go back. So, Norwich have a free kick. No, my timer's not wrong, but 69, according to mine, I'm like I'm on 70 on mine, so it's a little bit behind mine. It depends where you're watching it, I guess. Jack Stacey gets wrong side. Shot! Oh, just wide. That's a big chance for Norwich. Jack Stacey just drags it wide an inch to the left, and it may have found its way in the corner. But Norwich have created some chances here. Gibbs with a lovely ball getting Stacey and it's poor defending by Mavadidi. And he beats him and then has a shot. He probably should have passed it to Sargent. I can't lie to you. All he's got to do is square it. Why didn't he square it? Why didn't he square it? I'm not too sure. Norwich playing much higher up the pitch now. The forcing errors, see? This is how they should have played anyway. They should have got after them. Here we go, Gibbs. Oh. They're all over him, Norwich here now, look. And Diddy has a chance to bring it out, though. <coughs> Sorry. So why didn't they play with his tactics? Do you see what I'm saying? Come on, Norwich. There's life in them yet, though. But they should have played with his tactic being all over Leicester because of the nervousness around them and all that sort of stuff. I don't see why they didn't take them tactics. What well, fast into Vestergaard. Get after the ball, Sergeant. Just have to go back to his keeper, Hermanson. Here's Vestergaard. Well, first picking it up in the right back position, gives it into and Diddy. And Diddy out to Mavadidi. They can get you in transition though now, Leicester see. If they get another, it's game, innit? Jewsbury Hall. Doyle, he's trying to find Mavadidi, I think, gives it to Dewsbury Hall, cross to come in, good defending by Stacey, standing him up, Winks, here's Wout Fess, good football, 
by Leicester and did he pops it up back post Maver no it misses everyone here's Dewsbury Hall can he put it in again tries to put it on the ground but it's blocked by Gibson poor touch by Mavadidi and there's a ball there for oh Gibbs Gibbs wrong side of Winks well done Gibbs he's done really well there using them fresh legs and he spins it out to the left could be a chance here for Norwich City Sainz oh, Sarah has a attempt at a cross come short and it's blocked but it's going to be a throw in to Norwich Gibbs has done well since coming on I can't lie to you Gibbs has done really well since coming on to the pitch. Big throw coming. If you haven't already, folks, please smash a like. We're just 29 away from 900. Please smash that like for me. Here comes the throw. McCallum headed out. Oh, and there's a chance here potentially on the counter. Well, well done there by Gibbs. Gibbs has really injected something into Norwich, to be fair. McCallum. Jamie Vardy's getting ready to come on for Dakar. There's Gibson into McCallum. See, Norwich just playing higher up the pitch now. Yeah, Jimmy Vardy's getting some... Oh, big... <laughs> Christopher Spofford Chapel, you're an absolute saint. Again, he's gifted 50 Just Your Football Show memberships. What an absolute legend that he is. Oh, Sarah's had his pocket picked by Dewsbury Hall. Dewsbury Hall did really well then. He's given it to Fatawu. Could be a chance here for Leicester on the counter. Here's Ndidi slowing it down. Dewsbury Hall wanted it. Sooner, he's now picked it up. Dewsbury Hall to Doyle. Doyle out to Mavadidi. Mavadidi beats his man. It's 15 minutes left in this. Here's Harry Winks. Big up to Christopher Spofford Chapel, everyone. If you've got a membership, please show your love to Christopher. Fast. Fatuu. Leicester now just protecting the ball. Here's Fatawu. Fast with the cross. Terrible cross, but Mavadidi's probably going to get on the end of it. He is. Stands up, Stacey. Jinky McJinky. Doyle with the cross. It's a poor cross, and it's headed out by Gibson. But Norwich are back defending again. Big up to Christopher. Hopefully there's a lot of love in the chat. Big up Top Yank. We are Leeds. Sujal, nice to see you. Vardy coming on, folks. So Vardy's going to come on for Dakar. Getting a lot of love. From the uh, King Power. Dakar going off. There's the grass. Rebecca. <laughs> Dakar coming off poor. Haven't really had an impact at all, has it? Get them likes smash, folks. Just nine away. Nine likes away from uh, 900 likes. A thousand people watching. Big up to you all. There's Winks. It'd be a real, real sting in the tail if Norwich could get something out of this. But I just can't see it. They're not being able to create any chances. How many shots? I think they've had two shots on target all game. Um, There is Vardy now. Look, Vardy touch. To and Diddy and Diddy keeps it in. There's Pereira, good football again. Fatawu. Oh my god. That is a shocking shot. 
A shocking shot. Yeah, so someone's just from that. What does it actually do to the league table? Does it put Leeds into third? Yeah, Leeds into third, a point behind Ipswich and two points behind Leicester. But Leicester will have a game in hand, obviously. Oh, chance. Sarah gets wrong side of Pereira. Twists and turns. There's Saints. Saints! Oh, it's headed out by Vestergaard. Saints again has another bite of the cherry. He's looking to get it out to the right, but there's no one there. Ah, heavy touch. Heavy touch. Oh, well done. Norwich will come again now. Sarah. McCallum. No way through for them, though, and they've just ended it. It's back with the centre-backs again. Duffy. 82 likes away from 1,000, folks. Let's get to 1,000 likes. Come on, then. 12 minutes, 13 minutes left. 12, 11, 10, I don't know. 10 minutes, let's say. Duffy looking for the run of Sargent. Terrible ball. Terrible ball straight through to Hermanson. We'll just pick it up. Leicester 2, Norwich 1. Here's Fass. Tommy Doyle. Is it Tommy Doyle? No, it's Callum Doyle, isn't it? <laughs> Not Tommy Doyle. Callum Doyle? Tommy Doyle or Callum Doyle? I think it's Callum. Callum Doyle. Tommy Doyle? Which Doyle is it? It's a doyle -um. Going to finish like this now, says Mark Jones. Probably, mate. Probably. Be interesting to see what happens with um, Southampton Ipswich, won't it? That's a big one. Southampton have got to win that, so... I think the thing is, as well, for me, Ipswich are poor defensively, so Southampton will create chances. It's just about taking. So I say playoffs beckon for Leeds. I doubt that, mate. You do realise we're not being beaten this year. We still haven't been beaten just because we've drawn. A lot of people getting... Other teams maybe getting a little bit over... If we lost tonight, then we can have a conversation. I can't lie. Because it's so tight at the top, but... Not for me. Gun goes long looking for Sargent. Sargent's won the ball. Oh, he's tried to. That's a free kick. Free kick to Norwich. Ten minutes left. If you haven't already, folks, smash a like on the video for me. Oh. Might have to have a nap. Sarah looking for the run of McCallum. McCallum heads it in field, but Leicester deal with it. Norwich have been shite, man. Here's Fatawu, who's played really well today. Looking for Dewsbury Hall. It's headed by Sarah Vard. He's going to get on the end of it, though, and heads it down into his path. Is it Diddy? Ooh. Winks. Doyle looking for Vardy. McCallum wins it. Heads it down into the, uh, the keeper gun. Don't forget, folks, smash a like. We've got 53 likes away from 1,000. 3 p.m. kickoff soon to come. Birmingham versus Preston. Birmingham must win that. Coventry, Cardiff. Coventry have got to get a win as well. Looking for top six. Borough, Sheffield, Wednesday. Tough one for Wednesday. Plymouth, Bristol City. Plymouth need a win. Rotherham, they're done, aren't they? So Millwall could do with that. Stoke take on Huddersfield. Sunderland versus Blackburn. Sunderland getting a win last time out. Swansea QPR. West Brom, Watford. Fancy West Brom. And Ipswich versus Southampton, which we'll be covering. And then obviously Leeds versus Hull at 8pm, which of course we'll be covering. Leicester sit top of the tree currently based on this scoreline. 
Norwich might have something to say here, but nah, they've lost the ball again. Doyle, who's improved as the game's gone on, to be fair. Dewsbury Hall, over the top looking for Ndidi. Too much on it, though, and it'll be a goal kick to Norwich. Eight minutes plus added time, folks. 958 likes. Get them likes smashed for me. We've got 42 for 1,000. Let's get to 1,000 likes before the stream is done. Eight minutes left in this game. Here's Duffy. Ooh, good. Sorry, folks. McLean. McLean's not had a big impact on the game, has he? He was really good against us. But, um, yeah, they've tried to just defend the way to a point, maybe, but it's not really worked. Sergeant Fass has took it off him. Really good defending by Wout Fass. Gives it to Vardy. The pass isn't great, but Vardy will clip it up towards the back post, but it's... It had already gone behind, so it's a goal kick to Norwich. Another change for Leicester incoming, folks. Oh, two. Two coming on. Hamza Chowdhury. Ricardo Pereira for Hamza Chowdhury. And Dennis Pratt's coming on for Ndidi, so just shoring things up, I think. Fresh legs. Six minutes plus added time. Got 31 likes for a 1,000 folks. Keep liking the video for me. Is gone. Norwich running out of time now. He's gone. Five minutes left. Oh. Plus any added time we've got as well, obviously. Please make sure you smash them likes, folks. We're just um, now 13 people away from 1,000. Make sure you subscribe as well as the uh, pinned tweet says, folks. Help, it, help me reach 28k subs. Subscribe now and be part of that journey. Looking at it, we've got 20, uh, no, 119. No, 129, sorry. 129 away from 28k. Keep smashing the likes up, folks. Seven away from a 1,000. Leicester are just going to possession, keep possession of the ball and uh, see this one out, I think. It's not been a great effort, but oh, Fatou has done McCallum again. Tries to give it to Pratt, but it's well defended. Shara brought down. Fast gives away the free kick. Chance for Norwich. Gibson. <coughs> Norwich have been shite. Mavadidi keeps the ball. There's no up with him, by the way. He's up now anyway. Doyle, back to Vestergaard. Three minutes left. This is a huge win. For Leicester, considering their fixtures now, Birmingham and Millwall next, that's six points for me. I don't see how they drop points against them two sides. They've then got Plymouth, West Brom and uh, I think Southampton. That, that is it West Brom, Southampton? Yeah, West Brom, Southampton. I think that's that'll be tough, but outside of that. Fatawu, Pratt, Chowdhury, terrible. Three minutes left. Over a thousand likes, big up to you all. Thank you for the support, as always, people. Yeah, big up, man. 
Uh, Ryan, they just um, they help the algorithm. So the more likes you get, YouTube will push it to more people. As the likes go up, more people come in and watch because it gets pushed to other people. Uh, pack on that conceit. I thought they'd win, bro. I did think they'd win. Um, but yeah, um, I think, yeah, look, at the end of the day, Norwich aren't worth anything. Yeah, my, my bad. I'm going to have a nap, bro. I'm going to have a nap anyway before five. I'll be back at five. Oh, let's do a couple of subs now. Mavadidi's gone off. Mavadidi, oh, they're showing me the goal now. I missed the goal. Oh, it's a good goal. It's a good goal, isn't it? He takes it round the defender and then finds the corner. Yeah, it's a big it's a bit it's a big result. Big result this, they needed it. Gun goes long. Oh, sergeant brought down. No! He's give it the other way. That's shocking. Norwich were through. Sergeant apparently fouled Vestergaard. Napoleon Dynamite's fuming. Let's have a look. Eh? How's he done that? I can't believe the ref gave that to Lester, you know. I think Sainz was away as well. Is that another Norwich? Another Leicester throw, sorry. Throwing Hamza Chowdhury to take this one. A clean. Sarah. Ooh, the, oh, the Hermanson's there on the cover. Does really well. Here's Dewsbury Hall. How much added time? Five minutes, folks. Five minutes added time. Um, yeah, looks like Norwich, but listen, they've done, they deserve this, the Leicester, they've been by far the better side for the full 90 minutes, you can't argue with it, you can't grumble. Wink smashes it out right, just in. McCallum's been tortured, I think. Free kick. Referees on, on payroll, I swear it. Vardy chance. Oh. Anyway, here's uh, a corner ball. We've got three minutes left.
Dewsbury Hall gets man of the match. Goals one, assists one, shots three. Oh. Chance winks. Hit it, you. There you go. Vardy makes it three. Nothing more than they deserve. I can't lie to you. They've been by far the better side. Jamie Vardy kills it off. Norwich have been terrible. If we're honest. So there you go. Title race. Back on. Back on. Massive. <sighs> yeah, li listen, to be honest, I thought Winks, hit it, hit it, hit it. He's left it, but it's just fallen to Vardy, and Vardy, boof, finds the back of, back of the net. But listen, there's no grumbles from me. They deserve it. They deserve it because, yeah, and, and Jamie, you're right, it puts pressure massively on Leeds United now. And look what it means to the players, Mavadidi, Fatou, and that. They know how much this means. They're saying, we are not done. We are not done. Vardy couldn't miss from there, could he? <laughs> it feels like Leeds getting beat. No, nah, no. Nah. I'm more annoyed that Norwich didn't get me a shot on target. They'd, well, they got me two. I needed three. They missed me out on my bet. Absolute dingies. 30 seconds left. They had to win this game. They went 1-0 down and they, they came back. And like I say, it's nothing more than they deserve, if I'm being totally honest. Offside, is it? Yeah, offside. Offside, I think that's full time. Um, Potentially. Is that full-time? Yes, it is full-time, and uh, I think I'm going to be joined by my good good friend, Lotz. Let's see what he's got to say. Uh, he wanted um, he wanted the manager sacked after they went 1-0 down. What's he saying now? Let's find. Nothing more than Leicester deserved there. After going 1-0 down... They fought back. I think my man Locks is going to join us. Let's see what he's got to say. Yes, he is. Right, here we are. Come on then, bro. Enzo in? No, 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 no. <laughs> you just admit it, Enzo in. No, 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 no. I, my, my thoughts on Enzo haven't changed. In that, okay. Just because just we've won a game of football, mate. Yeah. Um, yeah. I thought Happy we looked days. good. We did look, we did look good uh, in comparison. Um, we looked better, should I say. Um, yeah. And yeah, uh, you know, we were at rock bottom on Friday. Friday was rock bottom, right? So yeah. um, it could only go up. But um, I mean, if you're going to ask me the question, who wins the league? It still leads definitely, no doubt. What about me. Ipswich, bro? Do you not think Ipswich? No, no, no. I don't think Ipswich. I still think really? Ipswich finished. I still think we finished third. Really? Yeah, I still think we'll finish third. Yeah, we won't. We won't have carry this on, your, mate. Have you seen your fixtures now, though? Yeah, we'll probably go and lose to Birmingham, bro. <laughs> nah, man, I can't have it. I can't have it. Norwich was shite, by the way, weren't they? Uh, it, it, in the in the periods they did go forward, they were okay. They were uh -huh. okay, but but the. Yeah, I, I hear what you say. I think um, if they, they they should have scored just after they'd gone one 0 up, mate. They yeah. they went for us. They went for the jugular, and I think they should have scored then. And I think that would have been game, but they didn't. So yeah, they um, sat in right. Yeah, they're a lot better than Bristol City for sure. Mm. For sure, yeah. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just think yeah. we we handled them better. We 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 were better defensively today. So so how do you see the other games going? after this so you've got obviously Ipswich versus Southampton what's the perfect result for you in that one you've got to say Southampton win really probably yeah um I, I fancy Ipswich I think Ipswich will win mate. I just think like, like I said to you last week mate I feel like uh with Ipswich you knowing that they 
they're so close. You know what I mean? I, I feel like ment- mentality wise, they're going to just go for it now. You know, it's, it's how many games do they have, including this one? Is it eight? Uh, yes, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like they're just going to go full steam ahead now, mate, for the end of the, to the end of the season. Obviously they'll drop points along the way, but mm. Southampton, mate, I feel like Southampton, I mean, I've seen Southampton fans. They, they've just now accepted the playoffs. Um, it I seems Southampton. Wrong. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of Southampton fans I've seen have just accepted the playoffs. So um, I think that, Ipswich will probably just want it more, mate, to be honest with you. And it's, it has felt that way with Southampton all season. I know they went on that sick run, mate, but um, o- over the course of the the four t- 38 games, whatever it is we've had so far, uh, Ipswich, Leicester and, so- and uh, Leeds have obviously been better. So, mm. But um, I could see a draw. I could see a draw, but I just feel like Ipswich will get it over the line with some you know, I know Benjamin Bloom wouldn't like me saying this, but some lucky, <laughs> lucky <laughs> yeah, 88th it, minute. He did you see the Did you see the one the other night as well, mate? The keeper. I mean, what the keeper oh, was doing. Oh, I know it was bad, wasn't it? I know. Because outside I've seen... of that, you know, they didn't have nothing. Like Blackburn were better <laughs> and should have got something. Have you seen the conspiracy theories about uh, performing enhancing drugs and all of that, mate? It's crazy. It's wild, on, bro. For Ipswich, Le- Leeds fans on on. I've seen Leeds fans on Twitter saying that Ipswich are on performance enhancing drugs and all of this. They need to be Surely tested. Not. Honestly, bro, how do, you, how, it's, it's wild. How, how do you see um, Leeds versus Hull going? <clears throat> well, I saw a thing today that you are you haven't won a Easter Easter Monday, Monday. game in yeah. seven years, yeah, which is crazy, mate. But um, yeah, again, I mean, I, I don't know if you saw Tom Lock Tom Lockyer was on before the Leicester yeah, game, yeah, and he, that, he was yeah. saying that you know out of the four camps, you'd want to be in the Leeds camp right now. You'd want to be in the Leeds dressing room right now. So. Again, I think Leeds will just kind of power through. You know, you had a, a minor setback, I suppose, if you want to call it that, against Swansea. Yeah. But um, I think you should. Well, you definitely should have enough, but, you know, I think you will. So you'll end you'll end that little dodgy Easter streak, mate, I reckon. You'll end that. Not, so, mate. Nice to see you wearing blue, though, as well, mate. Yeah, blue and... Yeah, yeah. man, yeah. <laughs> blue is the colour and all that jazz. Well, uh, look, thank you for coming on. I'm going to have a, I'm, uh, I'm gonna have a nap now before five o'clock and uh, look forward to that game a little bit later on. But thank you for coming on, mate. <laughs> Listen, everyone, make sure you check out Leicester City Fan TV and to Forcey Nation TV. Yeah, Anything I'm going live in about five minutes, mate, on, on Leicester, Leicester Fan TV. Yeah? Make, yeah, sure Leicester Fan TV. make sure you're going over. Make sure you're going over and check that out, folks. But yeah, it's Foshi Nation TV, yeah. Obviously, there's another Formula One Grand Prix this weekend, so me and Oscar will be doing content and stuff like that. So yeah, cheers, Joe, mate. Much yeah, appreciated. Go, go check that out, folks. And also, after this, you're going to be redirected to Joe Blackburn, who is now starting a football manager stream, Leeds United. So make sure you're going over there. Oh, nice. Yeah, I will see you back at five o'clock, peeps, where I don't know how I want that to go. Southampton to get a point or a win. Something like that. Peace out now, folks.